good morning students this is your pallup sir from singaris high school and college how are you my dear hope that all of your will by the grace of almighty today i will take a lecture mainly for the students of english version class 9 and 10 but this class also help the students who are in hsc level because they have also have this chapter my today's lecture topic is on chapter 6 of class 9 and 10 english version i have already discussed chapter 6 to the students of english version 10 on the regular class today i will show some practical parts of chapter 6 this chapter is fully new for the english version class 9 so the students of class 9 are also requested to see this lecture video if you want to learn something from chapter 6 and the students of class 10 class 11 and class 12 are directly requested to join this lecture video because this is the preliminary level lecture video for chapter 6 which is called the use of database so let's start my dear students first of all we have to know mainly what is database mainly students this database is fully the storehouse of information in this storehouse voluminous information of different kinds can be saved user can collect any information from the store at any time as per their requisition so this database is very important for a human being and a electronic device also because without our brain we cannot store anything like that without database a software or a project or any electronic device can't store anything on that so this database is very important so first of all we have to know what is database database is called the storehouse of information this information is mainly constructed with various types of data and all the data fully created a database it is a computer oriented process also by which collected information can be stored and recollected whenever needed if we show some example we can tell that library management system a telephone book or airline reservation system or etc and we can tell many thing also hospital management system also so everything which we use in our daily day to day basis 
which is stores some data that is the part of database there are various types of database programs some essential programs from those first of all microsoft access then fox pro then paradox oracle these all are various types of database among all these essential database programs we use mainly microsoft office access because in our curriculum of class 9 10 and 11 12 all the lectures are mainly created by using this software which is microsoft office access so today we will create a table by using this software because a database is usually formed with columns and rows and we know that a table has also some columns and rows and the data of a table is also is called a database so let's start students today we will show you how to create a simple table by using Microsoft Office Access 2007. So let's start. First of all, we have to click the start button. Then here we can write Office look at this already this has come microsoft office to access 2007 so we have to click on this particular part this is the first view of microsoft office access 2007 so today we will learn how to create a simple table for creating a simple table we have to go through some basic procedure so firstly we have to click on blank database we all see this part we have to click on which icon we have to click on this blank database after clicking blank database we see that on the right side there is a file name I have I'm helping you by using magnifier which will help you okay look at this first of all we have to click blank database then we get a file name option here we can write a file name like student file okay then we have to create we have to click on this create button we have to click on this create button after clicking on this create button we get this page to create a table we have to click on this view we see that there are two views one is datasheet view and one is design view so first of all on datasheet view and design view we have to go 
this design view when we click when we click the design view we got a box here we have to write a table name so we can write a table name which is student okay we can write a table name which is student then click on this ok button then we will get this page this page is in design view this page is called design view so here we have to set first of all some field name this field name is the mainly table heading part of a database table this field name is the main table heading part like if we create a student table where we have to store the information like role name section then this role word name word and section word is called field so role we can select role data type as a number then name as a text then section as also a text students this is a golden key which is called primary key primary key is called the field which have some unique data so here role field when we declare some data in role field the data should be unique the data should be unique so let's create this table then click on this view click on this view button and then go to the data sheet view then click on the data sheet view there is a box has come you must first save the table do you want to save the table now we have to click this button yes then look this page has come and we have to input some data as earlier i have told all of you that we have to create a simple table so a table is always constructed with some data so let's put some data like role 1 name uh rudra section a role 2 name onik section a role 3 name rafi section b role 4 Selim from section B, rule 5, if the from section C, rule 6,
Apurbo from section C Rule 7 is also onic from section C Rule 8 is if t from section a okay students these are all eight data so by this way we can create a table by this way we can create a table okay look at this table these are eight i put eight record here each row is called a record each row is called a record and here role word name word section word is called field and firstly we have to tell this role which types of data name which types of data section which types of data look at this role data these all are numbers that's why in design view we have told role as a number then again name these all are text so in v design view we told field name which is name the data type is text here and again the section type is also we see that these are also some text so in design view we are we have already told that section is also text so and role we have told this is a primary key so in data sheet view you can see that in this role section these all these all data are unique one two three four five six seven eight these all data are unique but in name there are some similar data like onic like section in a b c there are some similar data so students by this procedure after creating a table we have to click on this save button we have to click on this save button okay so by this procedure we can create a table so thank you students if you have some question then write on the comment box okay